Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another video. My name is Shani, and if you are new, what's up? What's good with you? Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a birthday transformation, okay? I'm basically just doing the makeup look that I had on on my actual birthday so it's really cute really simple is what I normally do to my makeup but I am using different products and I'm going to be doing my hair this video is brought to you by Julia hair that's where the bundles are from I got the Malaysian curly in 16 18 and 20 so I think I'm gonna be doing my hair last or first I'm not really too sure but if you guys are interested in my glam let's just go ahead and get into this video okay so i already washed my face and prepped everything off camera for moisturizer i used the clinique dramatically different lotion y'all know this is the only moisturizer that i use on my face and then i what else did i do wash my face oh i put some eye drops in these are the roto i think that's <laughs> this is probably not how you pronounce it but yeah, I put these in my eyes so they won't be red. They're clear. They're looking healthy. The chapstick that I have on is from The Bachelor ABC. They ended up sending me a, I guess, care package and they sent me like two chapsticks. And y'all, this is like the best chapstick in the world. I'm gonna need somebody to let um, The Bachelor ABC know that Shani needs a lifetime supply of this chapstick because this is literally the best chapstick I've ever used and i apologize for my voice i just woke up like an hour ago so yeah excuse my voice for the time being and then to spray my face because i like my face to be moisturized and glowy i use the fresh vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water and i just spray this all over my face i'll probably put some clips in of me doing all of that let me go ahead and start on my brows i was kind of contemplating on doing my brows on camera because honestly they be taking me a little bit of time i did just clean them up and i cleaned my brows up with nair if you guys didn't know that i've been cleaning them up with nair for like a good minute i don't recommend it but that's what i do because majority of the time i don't feel like using tweezers because i'm i'm lazy okay so for my brows i'm using the anastasia dip brow which is kind of dried out and i'm using the anastasia this brush I don't know the name of it but I'm using this all right so I'm gonna start by lining the bottom part of my brow and I like to leave the front as is until I get up there and then I come to the top brush it down y'all I literally still do my brows the same as the video I posted like a year ago on my brow routine it's so my technique and everything is still the same The excess off on the back of my hand like that and I'm just going to flick upward and like hair like strokes I don't like to do them too close together I literally have three flicks up here because then my brows will start looking really like that <laughs> and I don't want it to look like that so I try not to put too many flicks up here like this one is kind of dark brows are done now i'm going to go ahead and carve them out and i'm using the nars new caledonia foundation and i'm going to mix it with my Too faced concealer in chestnut all right so to carve out my brows i'm using the 242 brush from mac and i'm just going to go right up under here and carve it out
of all days and of all mornings when it's quiet it has to be in the morning where i'm trying to film a video that people just be coming doing random stuff all right y'all so excuse the noise this is my brows and i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids i feel like i spend an unnecessary amount of time on this part of my makeup it's really ridiculous watch this take me two hours watch like really what are they doing because i'm gonna need them to stop now i'm taking my e8 brush from morphe and i'm going to pat out this concealer i'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids with the sasha buttercup setting powder For my transition area, I'm taking brown script from MAC, oldie but a goodie, and then I'm taking my Morphe M532 brush. Now I'm taking brown down from MAC, and I'm using my Real Technique Essential Crease Brush. And we're popping this color right in the corner. Now I'm taking this medium shadow brush from Real Technique, I think that's the name, and I'm picking up the concealer on the back of my hand to reprime this area so that my so that my eyeshadow has something to stick to. Now I'm taking the same brush and I'm taking this bronze color from the Mac Warms Neutral Palette, which is now discontinued. Okay, for primer, I'm going to be using this Ren Skincare Canvas Primer. And I feel like this primer just makes my skin tacky and gives the foundation something to stick on to, so. That's why I've been using this primer. Okay, so my face is primed. Now I'm taking the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color D2. And I use this to color correct, basically even out my skin. And then I go on with foundation and then concealer. And I really like the way my face makeup comes out when I do this. It just looks so flawless. I like to take it around my mouth area and color correct this part. And y'all see how it just makes everything look even. Now I'm taking my Too Faced foundation in the color Coco. And to apply, I'm using this Real Technique Instapop brush yeah instapop face brush and taking that over the rest of my face about time they done and then I like to 
make sure my ears are the same color as my face so I take the excess foundation on the brush and put it on my ear now I'm taking the Too Faced concealer again and chestnut to highlight my under eyes To contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Espresso, and I'm using my Morphe E4 brush. Oh, another thing <laughs> under that Becca video. The next review y'all want me to do is the Fenty review on her powders and stuff. And yeah, I love Fenty. Don't get me wrong. I just haven't had any look at finding my foundation shade and when it comes to going in store it's just so overwhelming i was gonna go ahead and purchase it um but when i went in store with my co-worker chastity and i was helping her match herself with a concealer i was over it really <laughs> really quickly i am going to eventually do the review i don't know when but i will eventually get around to it taking malika's bronzer palette and setting my bronzer because I really love the way this makes my face look. It just makes it look even more filtered, you know? For blush, I'm taking Desert Rose from MAC.
so far so good it don't really be shutting like that um i comb it out at the end of the night and braid it up how you guys saw it was braided or if i want to keep the curls i'll do flexi rods like if i don't have time to do my hair in the morning like i do now um i'll just put flexi rods in it and take it out in the morning and let it fall throughout the day i probably should be combing this hair out while i'm doing this but i don't feel like doing all that Let me go ahead and put some clothes on and I will be right back. Okay, I am done and it literally took me, what time is it now? 12.44. I don't really know how long it took me to do this and I did film another video while I was filming this video. So yeah, I started filming at like 10 and it's now 12. So yeah, literally two hours it took me to do all of this. Um, I need to go finish putting my clothes on and take some pictures for the gram i literally almost forgot to tell all my capricorns happy belated birthday or all my january december babies happy birthday and we're literally the best if you fall in love with a capricorn your life is going to be great i'm not even trying to gas myself i just know me and i know that i'm a very loyal and loving hardworking person if you have a capricorn as a friend or if you have a january or december baby as a friend it's lit just look at michelle obama exactly i really hope you guys like this makeup look if you're interested in this hair i will link it down below shout out to julia hair for working with your girl on this video thank you guys so much for watching and always supporting me and i will see you guys in my next video which i will be placing on a screen you already know watch the next video and definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already just go ahead and click my face and boom you're subscribed